After Martin Luther King was killed on April 4th, 1968, black neighborhoods across the country erupted in riots, including the neighborhood that I had grown up in since I was a child, West Garfield Park. My parents bought their first house in West Garfield Park, it was a two-flat, in 1949 when the neighborhood was virtually 100% white. Fourteen years later, in 1963, the first African-American family bought on our block. And because of redlining, whites fled by the thousands. But my family stayed. And for the next 25 years, my mom recorded in her diary what their experiences were like on the west side, trying to maintain buildings in a devastated community. I wanted to understand what had happened to my neighborhood. Why did whites flee when just one black family moved onto the block? So I started reading about redlining. This was a government policy that color-coded neighborhoods and if a neighborhood had one African-American person living in it, that neighborhood was redlined, meaning nobody could get a mortgage or any kind of home loan in that neighborhood. To this day, blacks have six to seven percent the wealth that whites have because they could never invest in property. So I wanted to write my book to share with other people what redlining had done to communities and how it had segregated America and to tell this story from the point of view of one family that experienced it.